Take a look. You can see Cam Newton. Can you make him out there trying to fight off multiple men? The former NFL quarterback was taking part in an invitation-only camp and tournament when this happened over the weekend. Camp staffers and security officers eventually stepped in to break this up. It is not clear what led up to this fight, but people are investigating. Police, I should say, are investigating. He may have been outnumbered, but over on social media, people are impressed, saying uh, Mr. Cam Newton held his own. Y'all better watch out now. Y'all know who you running up on. Hey. This shit right here is sad. I'm going to say this is sad because this man is a multimillionaire, NFL player, great player. Did what he was supposed to do when he was in the league. Then leave out the league on bad terms. And he take time out of his day to put together a 707 tournament for young athletes, um, top contenders in, the, in high school, or college football, or whoever this was. And y'all come here doing this shit, and y'all going to fight at his tournament. And him being the modest person he is, he's trying to help break it up. And y'all start jumping him. Like, what? At the end of the, like, what? Man, these athletes not being athletes no more. Like, why can't y'all just come here and play football? What was wrong with going to this camp and just playing football, bro? And that's what's wrong with today's world. Nobody want to be football players. Nobody want to be regular people. Everybody want to spin and do this and do all this other shit, bro, when it doesn't really fucking matter. Y'all here to play fucking football. Why are y'all even fighting? You know what I'm saying? Like, this generation is fucked, bro. It's fucked because this man don't even have to do this. He, I'm pretty sure he got a lot of other shit that he could have been doing than this. And, and, and they come here and do this man like that. At the end of the day, like the lady said, he did held his own. They weren't fucking with him. But it's like, why, bro? For what? What's the reason? Why? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, bro, I feel like athletes should be athletes. Um, I feel like him knew and didn't deserve this shit, bro. The, for what he's doing and who he's are, bro, he did not deserve that shit, bro. He didn't deserve it. And it's fucked up. That, and I bet it's black people, bro. Black people really need to start holding each, holding each other accountable, bro. And how we raise these kids and what, what message we send out. I'm not saying I'm the perfect person. I make music. I might, for my music, y'all might think I send out the wrong message. But at the end of the day, it's just entertainment. You know what I'm saying? And all I, all I do is make music about where I'm from and, and how I was brought up. But at the end of the day, it's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to, I have pushed this shit. I'm trying to push this shit like this. It's like, why? You know what I'm saying? There was no reason y'all had to fight and jump this man at his own fucking event that he helped throw. It's just crazy. They're just today's society, bro. Shit's getting crazy. These kids getting crazy. They get more advanced, but they getting less advanced because they relying on technology and whole time they football players. They probably all see my op over there and y'all fo fucking football players, bro. This shit. It doesn't. It doesn't make sense. And that's black people. We need to start holding each other accountable for raising little niggas like this. And that's the and that's the God honest truth. And I know people don't want to hear it, but that's the truth, man. At the end of the day, him didn't deserve this, bro. And we just gotta do better, bro. Man, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers, bro. Y'all fuck with me. Yeah, I'm out. Shit.